Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here with my brother Christo. Hello. Younger brother. Uh, we're here in the Wallawas of Eastern Oregon, near the uh, town of Legrand, where my brother uh, lives with his wife and son. And as you can see, we've encountered some uh, snow here. So our plan was to go for a hike up in the Wallawas. We didn't know what the conditions were. Christo even called the lady at the Forest Service office and she said, she didn't know either, but she knew that no one had been up here yet. Yeah, so it was very variable. And uh, so we drove part the way up and then encountered snow on the roads. Decided just to park the uh, car there and um, just start hiking and see where we ended up and what the conditions were like. It was kind of like uh, snow behind the trees in certain parts and then it would uh, clear up the road and then we'd be walking on dirt um, and then come back to snow and then it got to full-on snow. So we've hiked this far and we were following the tracks of a, of a cat, uh, snow cat, snow cat uh, not a not an animal cat, but a uh, it's not a snow machine. Well, it could be a snow it could be a snow plow, right? Yeah. A way to get get up here, and who knows why they were even up here. But anyways, that snow cat track stopped just a little ways down there, and that was helping us um, to be able to hike along because it had compressed the snow. And then we got to that, and now we're um, still hiking along, uh, but we're we're sinking in more. We actually had um, snow shoes in the car that we brought with us just in case, but we didn't bring them because. It wasn't looking like we would need them there, and we didn't want to be hiking along with them. And then we got to this point and could use them, except that we're kind of tired out at this point anyways. So I don't know, even if we had them, if we'd really want to hike much further. Yeah. Uh, and so we don't know that we've even, I mean, I guess we haven't gotten to the trailhead yet. Nope. Somewhere, somewhere right up here. Yeah. What would you guesstimate we've hiked? Like two miles-ish from the car to here? Two and a half, maybe three. Yeah. It's been a ways. Yeah. It's been a nice steady um, uphill, which means it will be a nice steady downhill going back at least. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, what do you think? Are we going to go any further? Or... I, don't, I don't know I don't... if I can quit. <laughs> yeah, it's very tempting. <laughs> I just wish we still had that snowcat track at least. I know. Because we were making good progress with that. It could I mean, be like 100 yards that way. I know, it would be nice to at least just see the sign. And it feels like we're so close to a view because you can see the sky through the trees there. Yeah. Uh, and so we're up high and the trail that we were going to hike was going to, um, the trailhead is at the, at the ridge, at the top of the ridge. Yeah. The and it starts going down straight away. And the trail goes down uh, to the Little Minam River. And so I'm assuming you'd have a good view of the Eagle Cap Wilderness. Yeah. And that, would be, and that would be an awesome sight. Because uh, those are the the higher the the higher peaks. That's somewhere that I got to go one of these days and do a backpacking trip um, into the center of the Wallawas. I've uh, done uh, videos from this area before, both hiking with my brother, um, but also I did a road trip uh, August of uh, 2016 in the truck that broke down in the wilderness um, of Northern California later on. But I started my road trip uh, that time from La Grande at my brother's. My brother gave me that truck. And <laughs> not knowing it was going to break down. Yeah, not knowing about the fuel pump situation. And so I started that uh, road trip coming up to the Wallawas here, went around the back side of them, north, west, and around, and then went to the top of the, uh, the Wallawas. I'll put a link down below to those videos if you want to check them out. Um, I was like camping and doing hikes and took a, um, a tram or a gondola or whatever um, up to a peak. So uh, pretty cool if you want to see some more of Oregon and more of this area that we won't be you know, seeing in, in, uh, during this visit here. Okay. Yeah, definitely not today. <laughs> or even over the weekend while I'm here. The real wilderness of the Wallawas is that Eagle Cap wilderness area, which I have not been to yet. We've hiked to the, did we see a sign that said Eagle Cap? Is that what we're, we would be getting into on this one? Yeah. I see. Yeah. We would the be at the edge of- The wilderness boundary could be like 100 yards that direction. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the side of those mountains. Any idea what the elevation is of the highest peaks? Like 10-ish? About 10,000. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we've seen, uh, you know, pictures and there was like a drone video or something I remember watching at your house once. Something that showed some, some an overview of the, the wilderness that looked really spectacular. Yeah, I don't remember. We're at about 6,800 feet now. Okay, so they're, they're a good, the peaks are a good 3,000 feet higher. Yeah. All right, well, shall we just go a little bit? Just a little bit further. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Got to go for it. You can, we can always go another 100 yards. Exactly. And we're seeing some weird looking tracks. Some kind of big bird, but we're not sure what that is. That uh, 
cat track was a lot easier. So uh, speaking of wildlife, in my uh, video that I just posted of Prague, I saw what I thought at the time was a beaver in, in the river. Whoa, check it out, a beaver. How freaking cool is that? In the middle of the Prague, of Prague, the city. Everyone's been saying it's a nutria. Oh yeah, who does? Yeah, or a muskrat. I don't know if that's the same thing. Yeah, it was really cute, and the guy was feeding it. Like I was, I was like two feet away from it. Oh okay. Yeah, a guy was on the edge of the, the banks of the river feeding it, and there were a bunch of swans around. It's kind of a cool scene. And so we have come to the trailhead, we think. Over there is a sign sticking up out of the snow. So this snow here is like six feet deep or something. All right, daily fee required, five bucks. Stop there checking though. You are in cougar country. And wolf country. This facility is currently unmaintained for the winter. Oh, really? Who would have thought? Wallawa Whitman National Forest, La Grand Ranger District. And what is this called again? Uh, Moss Springs. Moss Springs Trailhead. Well, we got to the trailhead at least. At least we figure out how far we were from the start of where we wanted to start hiking. <laughs> and so we're now walking back and here's the cat track all across this whole from there all the way over that came up here for some reason and much easier walking yeah <laughs> not not sinking down into the snow so we're walking back down the hill back to the car still on our way back getting a little bit of a view at least and you can hear lots of water running underneath the snow there Spring is definitely in effect. And so here you can see a break in the snow on the road, getting uh, down in elevation, so it's thinning out at least. And so we're back out of the uh, snow. Mostly there will be some more snow up ahead and still walking. And we think we've probably walked like eight miles or something all together on this hike. Been a nice hike, even though it wasn't uh, what we expected. And so this is right where we parked and uh, the dirt road is all dirt from here on. There we're out of the snow.